Give a shout out right now for noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.noblegoldinvestment.com. So is investing in silver today a good idea? Well, Colin Plume from our friends at noblegoldinvestment.com, they think so. Our, on the national desk, he explained there have been huge sell-offs of silver because of the low price right now. Silver is the most useful industrial metal out there and demand for it is soaring for electronics and electric cars and solar panel circuits and on and on and on. The Green New Deal is increasing the need for silver. As industries pick up after the pandemic supply chain issues, the trend now should reverse quickly and silver's prices should skyrocket. So don't miss this. Give the team at noblegoldinvestment.com a call. And that number is 877-646-5347. That's 877-646-5347. If you set up a silver or gold IRA, $20,000 $20, or more, they will send you this stunning three ounces of pure silver American virtue coin. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous collector's item. It's three ounces of pure silver. It can be yours for free if you set up and you do need to look at your 401k or your IRA, your rollover. You need to diversify. You know you do. The stock market oh, is, you're, most of you, your 401k in the last year has lost 30% of its value. Some of you worse than that. It's time for you to get in control of your own destiny. Put some of your money into silver. And when the price of silver goes up, instead of losing money, you'll, you'll be gaining and, and protecting your value. That's noblegoldinvestment.com. Pope warns of global divisions leading to a precipice. Pope Francis warned in Bahrain on Friday that opposing blocks and global divisions have put humanity on a delicate precipice in a veiled reference to the Ukrainian war. Quote, we are living at a time when humanity, connected as never before, appears much more divided than united, the Pope said during a speech to religious leaders in the Gulf Kingdom. Quote, we continue to find ourselves on the brink of a delicate precipice, and we do not want to fall. Pope Francis, who has made religious dialogue a pillar of his papacy, was speaking on the first full day of his trip to the tiny island state where he arrived on Thursday afternoon. King Charles said he was related to the real-life Dracula, Vlad the Impaler. The king has told actor Luke Evans how his bloodline shows he is related to Vlad the Impaler, the inspiration for Dracula. The Hobbit star had just finished the 2014 film Dracula Untold when he first met his majesty, who was then the Prince of Wales. The actor 43 played a fictional version of the 15th century Romanian ruler Vlad III, also known as Vlad the Impaler, Vlad Tepes, and Vlad Dracula. Speaking on the Jonathan Ross show, Luke said, quote, I remember the first time I spoke to Charles, I was super nervous. He came up to me and he said, what are you working on? And I said, I've just finished a movie about Vlad who turns into Dracula. And he went, funny enough, I'm related to Vlad Tapiz. I thought he was joking, but went through his lineage to Vlad. Bloodthirsty Vlad III ruled the former territory of Romania and killed thousands, mainly through impalement. Author Bram Stoker used Dracula for the title of his 19th century novel, and Christopher Lee played the character in the films. King Charles is a great-grandson 16 times removed of Vlad III. Erdogan and Putin agree to send Russian grains to poor African countries for free. Turkish President Erdogan said on Friday that he had agreed with his counterpart Russian President Vladimir Putin that Russian grains sent under the Black Sea export deal should go to poor African countries for free. Quote, in my phone call with Vladimir Putin, he said, quote, let's send this grain to countries such as Somalia and Sudan for free. And we agreed, Erdogan said in a speech to business people in Istanbul. The comment came after Moscow resumed on Wednesday its participation in the United Nations and Turkey brokered grain agreement ending four days of non-cooperation that still saw exports continue from Ukrainian ports. Earlier this week, Putin said even if Russia withdrew from the deal again, it would substitute the entire volume of grain destined for the poorest countries for free from its own stocks. Italy refuses to allow entry of migrants rescued by NGO vessels. 
The Italian authorities have again expressed their refusal to allow the entry of migrants rescued by vessels of various NGOs in the Mediterranean Sea and have requested that it is precisely the countries whose flags these vessels fly that should take in the migrants in question. Quote, we cannot bring in migrants who are rescued at sea by foreign ships operating without any coordination with the authorities, the interior minister has asserted, as reported by the local Italian newspaper. The interior minister has indicated that migrants arriving in the country after being rescued by these vessels account for 16% of the arrivals, and although the government deals with the other 84% that reach Italian shores and boats that are assisted by the authorities, quote, Italy will not abandon its duty to rescue people at sea, but European solidarity has to become a reality, he said. That planet-killer asteroid that's been hiding in the sun's glare could smash into Earth one day. The planet-killer asteroid that has been hiding in the glare of the sun has finally been detected, and the giant space rock could smash into Earth one day, according to researchers. The nearly one-mile-wide, potentially hazardous asteroid, named 2022 AP7, is one of several large space rocks that astronomers recently discovered near the orbits of Earth and Venus. Currently, 2022 AP7 crosses Earth's orbit while our planet is on the opposite side of the Sun, but scientists say that over thousands of years, the asteroid and Earth will slowly start to cross the same point closer together, thereby increasing the odds of a catastrophic impact. The asteroid discovered alongside two other near-Earth asteroids using the Inner American Observatory in Chile was described in a study published back on September the 29th in the Astronomical Journal.